Hi, my name is Lisa. I am with Platemate Ceramic Art Studios. Today I'm going to be showing you a carbon transfer technique. One of the most difficult things about drawing uh, figures such as dogs, cats, people on artwork is getting the dimensions correct. Uh, and so the, in this particular technique, uh, you'll be able to get your dimensions to proportion so that your figure doesn't look like a stick figure. It actually looks true to scale. So here's my figure, uh, this dog, beautiful dog picture that I'm going to be transferring onto my artwork. So what I will need to do is open up a photo editing software. I use GIMP. Uh, it's open source software. Anyone can use it. So here we are in GIMP. I'm going to be making a new project, and since this is for a light switch cover, I'm going to make my new project the same size as the light plate. So I'm going to change this to inches. My light plate is 3.5 by 5 inches, so I'm going to make my project the same exact size. So that's about the size of a light switch. Then I'm going to bring in my picture that I want to put on my project. There's a couple of filters that we'll, we will be using. The first is if you go to filters and artistic, at least in the menus in GIMP, you're going to go to photocopy. And this is going to change it to black and white. You can see that the outline is still not too good for the back legs. I don't know if I'm going to be able to see that when I print it out. So I'm going to do one other uh, thing here, which is under color, if you choose thresholds, we're going to move this up so that we have a nice strong outline that we can see. I think that's good. Say okay. The last thing I'm going to do is that I don't want my dog to be as big as my project. I just want it to be in the corner. So I'm going to scale this and when I turn on my scale feature, I can scale it and move it into the corner where I want it. So once I have this part done, I can export this to a PNG file, which is just a picture file. That is my project file that I'm going to be used for copying. Now that I have my sheet printed out, I can go ahead and cut around the areas that have the outline to make it fit my project, my, my actual project ceramic piece. So first I'm going to do my backgrounds. I have my palette here with some water in the middle and I'm going to be using Blue Yonder Mako, uh, from Mako, it's Broken Coats. And I'm just gonna make a very thin wash to put in the background. With quite a bit of water here and I'll go ahead and just paint the whole background with this very thin coat of blue yonder wash. I'm gonna make some hearts. So I'll go ahead and use some hot tamale, Mako stroke and coats. And for this particular part, I'm gonna go ahead and put hearts on the background. So you can see this is a heart stamp. Uh, so now we'll go ahead and put our dog uh, pattern onto our plate. I'm going to put my beautiful dog in the bottom right hand corner. Go ahead and put my transfer paper down. This is just regular transfer paper. But now there's a part that's very important and that's that you need to make sure that your design 
is lined up and I'll tell you why that is. But just make sure that this corner is lined up. And so now I'm gonna begin tracing just the outside of my dog. This red outline burns right off. But in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and fill that whole shape in with white. One thing that I can do while I'm waiting for my dog form to dry is that I can get my mosquito tool ready. So a mosquito tool is just a bottle like this. Uh, it has this needle on the end of it and you can use this for outlining. So one trick is whenever you get ready to use your mosquito tool, never let the first drop, the first squeeze, be directly onto your project. And the reason for that is that it could be stopped up a little bit and you don't want to ruin your art piece, especially uh, because I've filled this particular bottle with black, which is tuxedo, which is a very dark color. So the last thing you want is a black mess all over your project. So go ahead and just test it on a piece of paper. Just make sure, sure that that's running uh, it's flowing out nice and smoothly. Now that our project is dry, the paint looks dry to the touch here, still a little bit moist, but we can still go ahead and continue. So we're going to put our carbon paper down again. You can multiple, you can use this uh, carbon paper multiple times. Remember we talked about lining up that corner edge. So now what we'll do is fill in the details.
Okay. So next step is that this goes in the kiln to be fired. So stay tuned for the follow-up pictures. We'll go ahead and post them on here as soon as this comes out of the kiln. But in the meantime, we want to let you know how you can start getting your pictures ready to put on your artwork. Don't forget to visit us at Platemate Ceramic Art Studios to find all kinds of project ideas. Look at our Facebook page, Platemate Ceramics, and you'll be able to get lots of project ideas like this. Also follow our YouTube channel, subscribe, and you'll get regular project updates. We're having so much fun with you all. Thank you for coming and joining with us, and we'll see you soon. Bye.